Oh, you know what I wanted to watch? The new Casually Explained video. I don't know how many of you guys have seen this. I love Casually Explained, but I've heard this is hilarious. So I want to watch it. So we're going to watch it real quick. I'm going to be a react, Andy. I, I saw the only bit I saw was in he, when he poked fun at um, what's his face. He poked fun at Hassan. I saw that bit on uh, uh, on YouTube earlier, like a clip of it, and it cracked me up, dude. So Twitch is so the world's largest live streaming platform and owned by... I was going to watch it by myself, but I was like, no, f mm. it, we'll watch it on stream. And while originally it was almost entirely Hassan's for gaming, trying to bullies the it out of him. It's so funny. all sorts of shows and IRL content, with top streamers averaging tens of thousands of viewers and special events and tournaments getting into the hundreds of thousands. With so much content, there's pretty much something for everyone, whether yeah, yeah. you're a gamer, a musician, a hobbyist, or just a member of Twitch staff. <laughs> Unlike TV, streaming appeals <laughs> primarily to a teenage and young adult audience, and having done some streaming myself, I've realized it's basically a place where high school kids go to learn social skills from adults who act like high school kids. With this in mind, if you're a streamer, it can be hard to keep everyone well behaved in the chat, so you have to set some rules for everyone to follow. Oh my God. Personally, I think it's important to listen to the interests of the Twitch chat, so just like in a democracy, there's really only one good way to make rules. Do whatever the fuck you want till Jeff Bezos stops paying you. <laughs> now, a okay. big problem streamers have to deal with is their audience developing what are called parasocial relationships, which is when someone from their chat knows so much about them that they think they're close friends, even though to the streamer, they're just some random viewer. And this is worsened because unlike <laughs> traditional celebrities, Twitch chat can directly message and donate to the streamer in real time, God, getting a reaction it. and making them feel more connected. And while most people think, bro, getting validation that way is kind of sad. Just remember it's the same thing your grandparents do for you, so make sure you have some empathy. So I can tell you from the perspective of a streamer, by far both the best and worst part of streaming is the chat, because they make you feel like you're the hottest girl in the club. You know there's a chance that someone cool is gonna come up and chat with you, but 95% of your interactions are, here's $5. How old are you? How tall are you? Are you single? Yeah, yeah, still single. Oh, bloggers do. Relatedly, because so many Twitch viewers are young males, a big topic of conversation in the gaming community is always female streamers. And frankly, female streamers have it rough on Twitch. Not financially, of course, but in terms of being treated like a human being. This is because of the well-known fact that if you donate all your pocket money for that month to a female streamer, they are now legally obligated to be your girlfriend. I'm not saying it's oh, no! fair or just, but I am saying I will also do anything for $25. Nevertheless, regardless oh, no. of whether someone is a pro gamer or you just have a crush on them, at the end of the day, streaming is all about entertainment, and you can watch and support whoever you want. But at least be honest with yourself about it. I've seen people be like, oh, yeah, she does like yoga at the beach, and I've donated because she obviously can't afford a proper outfit, and I've been trying to learn yoga myself, you know? Yeah, okay, buddy, and I'm a tier three sub to Hassan for his political views. And we're back. By the way, okay, so the clip I saw was that, was that, does, who has it? Does anybody have the Hassan clip? Does somebody have it? I, I need to show you guys. Oh, somebody get it ready. I'll show you at the end of the video. Now, one thing Twitch is certainly known for package? is its drama. This is because 98% of all Twitch Twitch's viewership is concentrated in the top 50 streamers, so they all know and interact with each other. And there's no better place to stay up to date on the latest streamer shenanigans than Reddit's live stream fail. Now, despite its name, LSF isn't just a place to post funny live stream blunders. It is, in fact, a constantly updated gossip magazine for teenage lore masters to turn the lives of famous streamers into choose-your-own-adventure K-dramas. Imagine someone in the chat is like, uh, hey, hey streamer, you just made a big mistake. And you're like, what, yeah. what did I do? Bro, I was hoping he was gonna go in on LSF, bro. He did. Dude, but nice try, liar. You should have said you were innocent before you were accused of being guilty. <laughs> now your Twitter notifications look like this. And the top LSF post is six oh months of scandalous God. DMs the OP found in their Photoshop folder. Every other streamer is giving their lengthy criticism of your entire character 15 seconds after asking chat what they thought you did. Then only once the entire subreddit is filled with clips destroying your life, Asmin Gold says... Perhaps we should wait for more information before we jump to conclusions. Which in a complete turn of events completely stunlocks the entire community who have been starved for such wisdom their entire lives. This effect lasts for a day or two until Destiny absolutely obliterates you for apologizing wrong. You announce you're taking a mental health break from streaming by streaming on your other account, and you begin planning your redemption arc with Dr. K. Now, one of the reasons why I'm a terrible streamer is because I'm never up to date with the latest meta, which is whatever the going trend on the website is that gets the most views. Like when Among Us became popular, I was like, eh, I'm probably just gonna be a fad like Bean Race. Then a couple months later, I was like, 
Well, I can't learn it now. It's just the end of the life cycle. And then a month after that, I was like, okay, fine. I'll buy it. And then right when I buy it, everyone quit and starts playing Rust. And then when I spent three months going through the same process, right when I decided to buy it, everyone just quits to play GDA. And so I was like, okay, the next trend that comes around, I'm completely ignoring it. I'm not wasting any more money. So, of course, what was the next trend I missed out on? Fucking GameStop. <laughs> then right when I'm ordering my inflatables for the hot tub meta, guess what the new trend is now? Leaving Twitch to stream on YouTube. It was right in front of me the whole time. But now the tables have turned. Once everyone's a YouTuber, guess who's going to have all the power to decide the meta then? That's right. ExpressVPN. The VPN that allows you to reroute your connection to over 90 countries throughout the world in a single click. And if you're like me and don't want people hacking into or accessing your Twitter DMs, not because there's anything scandalous in there, but because you wish there was. Uh, ExpressVPN allows you to funnel your data through an encrypted connection so that no one's able to act vulnerable on an unencrypted connection. So oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, uh, he has so many other videos like that. Been subbed to him for a while. Such, like, such a good YouTuber. Him and Bill Wirtz are, like, top 10, man. Oh, God. If you're like me, you never get approached by girls unless they're selling... Did someone... I don't know. Did, did anybody get that clip? That was from, um... The, the Hassan clip? It's, it's Hassan reacting to this one. Oh, wait. Here we go. Thank you, Ox. Can, can you un untime out Ox if you don't mind, please? Thank you. Plus, regardless of whether someone is a pro gamer or you just have a crush on them, at the end of the day, streaming is all about entertainment. It's so funny. You can watch and support whoever you want. But at least be honest with yourself about it. I've seen people be like, oh, yeah, she does like yoga the beach and i've donated because she obviously can't afford a proper outfit and i've been trying to learn yoga myself you know yeah okay buddy and i'm a tier three sub to hassan for his political views and we're back Thank i'm sorry what <laughs> son sorry. of a bitch <laughs> Plus, regardless of whether someone is a pro there's there's a there's another one after that one does someone have the other one <laughs> Oh, like, here. Hold up. I got it. Like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got linked. He went to... Okay, so this is the follow-up right you after. This is what like, happens uh, right you know, after he checks. Like, oh, 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 my God. He's literally tier two, three stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. It gets better. Just when you think... Just... It gets better, bro. It gets... I oh, shit you not. That's hilarious. You don't think it gets oh, better, dude, but it does. probably did this just for the fucking meme. No shot. No fucking oh, shot, God. dude. Never typed in chat. Tier 3 sub. Wait, there's more. The perfect chatter. The perfect relationship with a streamer nice. and and chatter. Thanks for unpausing the video, Hassan. <laughs> now, one thing Twitch is certainly known for... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> bro that's so good that's so fucking good oh this is like i the, the video didn't pop up that I, like i didn't i didn't see his his new video so that's how i was like bro i gotta fucking watch this but oh my god you should have seen it live oh <sighs>